Kingwood High School nearly destroyed during Hurricane Harvey. It will now become a fortress during future flood events. So what's the deal? The campus is installing new barriers to hold off high water. Jason Miles takes a closer look. You may have seen how floodgates or walls work, but these will operate differently, rising in areas like this as the water does. This is the only water Umbel ISD wants to see inside Kingwood High. Believe it or not, fish ended up in the swimming pool during Harvey when water swamped the entire campus. During Harvey, water would have been about here on you? <laughs> yes, there was five feet of water in here, and I'm a little more than that, so it would have been almost over my head. The school reopened after a 70 plus million dollar renovation. Now Superintendent Elizabeth Fagan tells me the district plans to spend nearly 30 million to protect that investment from future flooding, thanks primarily to a FEMA grant. So what we will do is we'll go in behind all of the bricks, the entire perimeter of the building up about eight feet and make it um, waterproof. And then we will put floodgates in around all the doors and windows. These are renderings of the flood barriers that will cover doors and windows on the first floor, rising from underground storage areas automatically when a flood threatens. This would keep the, the perimeter of the building intact, keep the water outside, and uh, preserve the inside. FEMA would not have approved property-wide walls because of potential impacts on neighboring homes. My house flooded. It got five feet as well as Kingwood High School. Kingwood senior Rachel Henry gets a little freaked out every time it rains, but believes protecting the building is the best thing to do after so much work to move back in. I had the most difficult time going through that, and I have a younger sister that's going to eventually go to Kingwood, and I would hate to see that happen to her or anybody else. Humble ISD considered raising the school and even replacing it, but Fagan says better protecting it was the only feasible option sort of make this building very flood resistant. Work on this pretty massive project should begin sometime next school year, and these walls should be able to hold back any water sometime in 2022. Reporting from Kingwood, Jason Miles, KHOU 11 News.